On the brink of bankruptcy, as even more restri or restrictions hit restaurants, some might not last if there is another round of closings. Brian Wilk spoke with one local restaurant owner who says he was close to shutting down for good. Brian? Jill, I also talked with city leaders who say the best way to keep a business open is by giving them your business. John Bookna with the Erie Downtown Partnership says people need to be responsible to keep us in the green phase. This will keep businesses open. Many restaurants might not get hit hard until the end of the year. We have organizations like ours and many others are looking to try and find ways to help. But in this case, from a retail standpoint, the best way we can do is, other than practicing our safety, is supporting that business. He says many downtown businesses rely on the people that live there. A lot of our downtown-based businesses are built around the density of a downtown. It's communities all across the nation. It's just how that's built. When you don't have the large employers or you don't have that large density of population, from a safety standpoint, you really don't have that big customer base. And the owner of Dominic says his business was on the brink of bankruptcy and may close down for good if there is another round of closings. That's absolutely horrible. I mean, we were on that brink. I mean, we were right there. We were probably a week or so, you know, from shutting the doors for good. And, uh, you know, we felt we owed our customers that, that due diligence of letting them know where we were at. Tony says that happened about a month before the county went green. And so far, they have gotten no funds or loans. And Bookna says some businesses are actually benefiting during the pandemic. Now, this includes big shopping stores such as Walmart. Their issue is the lack of inventory, not customers. Sean? Thanks, Brian.